March is colorectal cancer month. <laughs> I know. Who wants to talk about colons and rectums? I know that's a tough topic, but we did a story, a video for a local group that, that does colonoscopies. And uh, I did the process myself because I was 50 at the time and needed to get that done. And it really is not that bad. And that's why we show this video, because if you know somebody in their 50s that needs to get checked up, link them to this video, because it's just not that big a deal and it can really save your life. Good afternoon, Rick. Good seeing you. Good afternoon. Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah. I'm doing okay. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. A colonoscopy is not one of the aspects of turning 50 most of us get all that excited about. Most of the time, patients will say that the procedure itself, after this point, is a piece of cake. Okay. It's all getting ready for that with drinking that stuff and fasting. That's the hardest thing. After fasting for 24 hours, it's time to begin the preparation. All right. Here we go. So there's a day, a whole day you have to drink liquids, and then you have to drink some substance that will actually purge the bowels. We need all that material out of your colon for us to get a good look. So I think there's a lot of people who hesitate for that reason alone. We're not going to show you the rest of this part. We'll catch up with you tomorrow at the clinic. You check in, have you of course change into a gown, They'll start an IV to, for us to give you IV fluids and also give you sedation. And then you're taken into a special room, which is where the procedure is. Yeah, how far in do you go? Just to... We want to go all the way to the beginning of the colon, which is where your appendix lives. So it's about, if you will talk distance, about five or six feet, depending on how you measure it. Once the doctor administers the sedative, I didn't feel or remember a thing. The resolution on this scope is very good. We can see polyps just one or two millimeters in size, which you, if you look on a ruler, is pretty small. So we have to actually go from the anus, advance it sort of up the tunnel, if you will, to get to the way over here, which is what we call the cecum, or the beginning of the colon. Five to 8% of Americans will be diagnosed with colon cancer in their lifetime. That's about one in 15 people. We slowly come out, look at the whole, all, the, all the walls of the colon, if you will, look at all the port, you know, all the, surface area. We're looking for polyps, which are little growths of tissue. They look like warts almost. Um, they could be pre potentially precancerous growths. And we look for anything that might be abnormal. Colon cancer is one of the only cancers that the death rate is actually dropping. Colon cancer is also one of the only cancers you can prevent with this type of procedure. Which is pretty astounding if you think about it and pretty exciting. But people don't recognize that that's uh, what, what's the price of, of that sort of assurance and that process? Well, the price is drinking some stuff, going to the bathroom, being on a liquid diet, and going through a colonoscopy once every 10 years or so. That's not that big a deal. Still, of the people who should be getting screened with a colonoscopy, only about 50% are actually doing so. And I think part of that is the privacy issue. Like, okay, it's not, not in private, uh, in polite company, you don't mention anything about anuses or rectums or colons or bowels or prostate or... The experts at Eugene Gastroenterology Consultants are trying to demystify the colonoscopy with some creative, innovative, and sometimes humorous public education campaigns. As I mentioned, sort of the puritanical view of, oh, you know, let's not talk about that. Um, but they didn't talk about breast cancer 50 years ago. It was a taboo topic. You know, it's like, oh, don't ever talk about breasts. That's, that's not what you talk about in polite company. But you know, if you look at what's changed over the years, that view has changed, and appropriately so. The hope is, the more comfortable we become talking about these issues, the more normal the colonoscopy will be. The colon conversation is slowly changing. The biggest reason is to hopefully prevent colon cancer from forming. Or the other reason, which is obviously plan B, is to f catch it earlier. Because the earlier we catch colon cancer, the more treatable it is.